so yeah, after yesterday's video, I took the bike kind of 4.5 kilometers over to Albertine. It's only 2.5 to it. I went an extra two kilometers extra. Um, <laughs> and uh, went around the island and I realized that it was very cold yesterday on my hands and I did not have my gloves with me. Anything to keep the wind from hitting them would have been great. But today, or last night, I got the, it's going to be two degrees colder tomorrow. In Amsterdam, I'm like, gay. Hey, it's going from nine degrees to seven degrees. Or something like that. It's currently seven degrees. Feels like three. I'm not taking my bike anywhere because I'm going to the gym first because the Mat Rechelen gym closes by five. And it seems easier to go to the gym during the middle of the day um, and then have a lunch afterwards or a protein shake and then go shopping. The problem is, is they're in, they're in two different things unless I shop at that Albert Hine down there for taco stuff. I did think about perhaps maybe taking the bike to the gym today, but then also I was like, meh. I need to get out and bike at least as much every day. If anything, just, you know, a little 100 calorie burn thing just to keep some things off. I also probably gonna just whole ass cut off, cut back on the alcohol for like dry December, I guess it's called. I mean, there's really not much wind happening today. I mean, look at how glassed that sloche is. So a little bit of a trying thing with the chair. I was trying to record a TikTok. that was like your favorite guilty pleasure song. And the moment I started finding the actual song and the person, the area that I wanted to like play for it and like record it, Aaron came out of his meetings. And he decided to make all the noise. And then by the time he came back out and was like talking to me for a little bit because he was just in like hours of meetings, I broke down. It's not uncommon to be breaking down right now. Cause yeah. I just realized that there's the Anderhava major Aufstand and I didn't check to see if whether I needed to strike up for a very specific time for, shit. I'm already here at the gym area anyways. They would probably just pencil me in. I'm already here three hours before when I would normally be here. <laughs> Okie dokie. Got a little bit of socializing in. There's, so I explained the reason why I was here early, early in terms of what I'm normally in there. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Alex, he doesn't know what it's gonna be like near the end because the gym closed at five and most people who work like a nine to five can't come to the gym, that means they're gonna get off work early or they're gonna figure out that they need to come early in the morning or or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna do chest, um, that's 10 kilos. Um, I need to figure out if the shoulder feels okay. Um, and all that jazz, I also need to get things in the right spot, so. Plus, I have the sun. So I'm not going to be able to record much. Doing the lats right now. I realized I don't need to grab this part. This one's kind of M shaped. You guys can see the middle part there, then it goes up and then goes back down out there. I can grab on the other side and because otherwise I have to turn my hands because that's just how my hands are set up. It's a little bit easier to, because for lats, I know you want to pull straight down. You don't want to do this, then you're going to get that weird thing in the center. I'm probably going to do a row after this one, but this, this, this lat machine here allows me to go above 65 kilos. I tried to do, tried to do a one rep max on the bench, but the shoulder issue caused a bit of a problem. I got three reps <laughs> a plate and three quarters so 20 10 5 which is literally only five five kilos on each side up but it's just that little bit extra it's been slow going getting back to strength after the collarbone because once I was able to start actually lifting again I had to come back from such atrophy and then the gyms closed down almost six months after that because of corona 
And then I lost a bunch of that because I wasn't able to go heavy. It's just been a struggle. But now that we have Winterstop and whatnot, let's see. I did shoulders on the dumbbells and I did incline press on the dumbbells. So that's like 22. Well, the shoulders was like 24 in each hand. No, the incline was 24 in each hand. The shoulders were like 22 in each hand. It still feels a little shaky, so I didn't want to push it too terribly much. Because like with all the pulleys and the cables and system, it was getting really awkward on the machine. Especially when you're maxing it out, but you're like, how heavy is that really? But, you know, 20, well, 20 kilos is 45 pounds. So I was like 50 in each arm for shoulders. I know, sounds absolutely terrible. All right, I'm down here at the cell, but I'm just gonna it's the worst. I have to get a pay. I, I think I have to pass you. Figure out there's. <laughs> I've never bought taco ingredients here. <laughs> I was gonna come in and just get a, a Papa I'm craving Papa Murphy's. Why? It's just pizza. Exactly. That's all it is. Okay. Pasta pesto. And uh, things now. Just gotta go figure everything else out. We'll talk when I get done here. I want to make sure that I get everything because I'm shopping in a weird store for my stuff, and I just uh, I don't want to forget anything. But anyways, oh, need you there. I'm, oh, oh my God. So the, the drum of the fucking egg. So not only was there like the warm up set, what was that? Chest press and then the incline and then shoulders, then a lat. And thing, and then I did one set of well, the preacher curl was taken up, standing bicep curl, one hand, yeah, this way, wait, just this way. And then I went into the store, and then I don't know, I was having a sensory moment in the store. I almost made the TikTok of just like. You know, I'm like being a re being a graduate of the, uh, you know, and I was gonna say being a graduate of the uh, autism school of learning with a specialization in sound sensitivity. I hereby declare that all women should never wear high heels again. And but then I realized that it's also men in dress shoes. Some days it's so bad in the stores because it's just clang 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 clop clop. It's like, and sometimes when you've got like, if I'm in Centrum and I'm at a Yumbo or something, or just even in actual Central. There's just this pack of girls wandering around in this thing and it's all concrete and stuff and it sounds like a bunch of Clydesdale are coming down. And I'm like, nope, it's literally just girls in heels that need to just, like they walk so heavy. And I just, it gets, gets me sometimes. But then I walked, the bus was packed so packed. I almost got sat on by somebody because they did, they thought the seat was free because that, I don't know. Like, I'm sitting here, my bag is bristling. I didn't vlog anything because after the store, I put the camera in a very precarious location in the thing because I needed to Tetris my bag. And, yeah. I got everything home. Made sure I got all the taco stuff. That's fun, but, hmm. Anyways. It's, uh, oh yeah, I got a, I picked up a Chipotle sauce, um, to, like, put on other things. I don't know what, <laughs> but it's Chipotle sauce. Uh, but, no, I came home and I, I laid down. I have a makeshift pillow. I was watching TikTok, and it was, like, it was, like, 3 o'clock. And I just, 
I was going to sit at my computer and do something, and I was like, no, I'm going to lay down. I was like, why do I need a nap? It's because I was, I was over, I you know, I had, a, I had a, a fit earlier, and then I went to the gym, got over sensory afterwards at the store and at the bus, and I just came home and had to nap through it. I mean, it's only 5 o'clock. 5.05. Oh, five. I'm trying to think if I want to. I should probably watch a football game. No, I need to wait for the phone. The phone's on its charger right now because I damn near killed it. <sighs> but yeah. No, it doesn't show me my... Does it? Show, does the watch show me my sleep history? Oh, it did. Sorry, guys. Oh, no. Watch, come back here. Seven hours, 22 minutes. Fell asleep at 11.30, woke up at 6.52. Average, oh, this just gives me, this is, this is giving me sleep score. Today was 7.3, yesterday was 8.2. Wake up, 7.2, 6.3, 7.4, 7.6, 6.9. For more information, collect the data. Yeah, I know, well, my phone's over there on the... Recent heart rate 76. Oh, yeah, you give me a thing. I have to check the app for that. See if I was qualified as having like a mild nap here, but the thing is, the phone was active, so I'm not necessarily sure. But yeah, with all that chest stuff, I'm already starting to feel the triceps hitting it. That's why I blasted. Um, Biceps, very, very specifically. It's one of those things a lot of people say, oh, well, you, you know, you need to work on your triceps. I'm like, if you're doing enough, like, chest or shoulder lifts, your triceps are going to grow as per necessary. Um, I understand for bodybuilding, you need to work them very specifically, but when you're doing regular sports and athletics and, you know, stuff with compound body motions, you're just going to work everything in compound motions because that's what your actions require. If you're doing... The bodybuilding where you have to show off your muscle by tweaking your body or something, then sure, work it specifically so you can grow that muscle even more than usual. But my idea is like with chest, doing incline, shoulder, and chest press, the tricep gets worked enough because it's getting it's getting half reps. Um, but like. Sometimes the bicep is not working very well. Um, who knows? I will try with you guys tomorrow. I'm still kind of tired. I don't know why. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to say this much here at the end. I had a little bit more of a nap. Aaron's out here playing Astroneer. Uh, Autonauts. Autonauts. I think Astroneer is the one that you had, you know, you have the, the oxygen line. This one has like, it, it's, it's a cutesy building sim. I think what it does is it's cutesy and allows people to get an, a basic idea of programming. Yeah. Um, because it's sort of like, oh, well, you have eight kilobytes. That means nothing. You could have eight kilobytes or 12 kilobytes, and it just means you have eight lines of code, <laughs> eight actions. Yeah. Um, it's not a comp, but it gets you, it, you know, it's one of those things like you could get the kid used to it. And I don't want to say like a five-year-old, but you can definitely get like a 10-year-old used to the concept of the, if this, then that, if this, then this, then that. Yeah. sort of concept. But what I was going to say is I just, I tried to see if I could set up a, a profile in the United States. Like I had to set up with like fake name <laughs> and everything. And I put in the zip code in the United States that I know very well. Uh, I put in my US number and I put in an alternate email address that I still get responses for that my blizzard is also used through. <laughs> I didn't add any payment information though, but I couldn't get to Pluto TV, despite the fact that it does no excessive streaming.
Yeah, or you can't go back and stream. It's just literally you turn on TV. <laughs> There's so it would kind of suck to jump in at episode four. <laughs> I was hoping to get yeah. to Paramount, but it's apparently there's no app on the PlayStation. Anyways, what I was going to say is it's 615 and the sport field lights are off. Like, this is the thing. This is, this is how I told Alex at the gym. Fun stops by five. Necessity stop by eight. <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes. The necessities would be like eight hoes, Gall and Gall, you know, Gall and Gall, various other things um, that are, you know, your supermarkets where you get food and stuff. And like, you know, no beers, no alcohol, can't buy any of that stuff past eight o'clock, but no fun. So no restaurants, no zoos, no nothing until, you know, after five. I did not realize that they would be turning off the lights at the sport fields. <laughs> like the park lights are on. It's kind of raining out there. I don't want to go out there, but yeah. Like the skate park doesn't have lights normally as is, but the, all the little park lights are on. But usually this whole thing's lit up right there. And it's not. So it's awkward. Also, I'm a little confused as to all, you know, <laughs> the, the little joke is, oh, all the fun stops at five. What about those kids that are getting out of school at five? What if they have to stay late to do research? Like, this is, yeah. <laughs> this whole five o'clock rule is the weirdest thing. But that's it. I just, I stood up and I was talking and I was going to probably turn on a bit of an NFL game. Probably watch a Rams game. I get too much Panthers news on other social medias to be surprised by what happens in their game, so I'll watch Rams. Anyway. I'm gonna put the laundry out. No it is ever. Hmm. Still tired, still yawning. Not sure what's going on with this, but eesh.